Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be, is Will Smith a real man or an approval-seeking beta male? So I had a newsletter all that I was working on, I was going to do, and I've been thinking about this Will Smith thing. Obviously, everybody's talking about it on Twitter, sharing the videos of the Oscars that happened last night. I actually didn't even know they were happening until I was had to, happened to go on Twitter to see what was going on in the world, and I saw these videos of Will Smith going up and smacking Chris Rock across the face after he made a joke about Will Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, who I guess apparently she has, I think it's called alopecia, where she's losing her hair or has problems, you know, skin problems, the hair causes the hair to fall out or whatever. And so it brings up an interesting point of view because there's a lot of people debating it on Twitter. So I thought I would give my two cents because obviously it's pretty well known that Jada has cheated on Will publicly, very famously with rappers and other people, I guess on numerous occasions. And then they openly talk about the struggles and as many of you know the reality is somebody who cheats i mean once a cheater always a cheater i mean the cheating is not so much the issue the cheating is a symptom and the symptom comes from a lack of integrity so a woman who habitually continually cheats on her husband or a man who cheats on his wife cuz I mean, the reality, the stats are when it comes to infidelity, men cheat more than women, almost twice as much as women. We did a video recently with Jennifer and some of the other girls, which we'll be releasing soon. But the stats are, it's like I think it's like 15.8, 15.9% of the time men cheat. And women, it's around 7, 7 8% of the time. It's the women doing the cheating. So guys cheat more than women. That's just a statistical fact. It's always interesting to see the guys in the red pill community crying about body count and women cheating on men when the reality is most of the time it's the guys doing the cheating. So back to Will Smith, it's well known that his wife has cheated on him very publicly and they've very publicly talked about it. And so I was watching the video because you look at it and go, as he's walking up there, Chris Rock's laughing, he even leans forward, kind of turns his head a little bit. And then, you know, when you look at the slow-mo, he's already turning his head before the slap arrives there. And obviously actors in Hollywood practice punching and slapping other people without actually hurting them. And so you look at the slow motion, it almost kind of looks like it could have been fake. But maybe it was real because then the, the way Will Smith reacted afterwards when he started cussing Chris Rock out, it, you could see Chris Rock seemed definitely to be flustered. So the interesting thing is, is as as Chris Rock is making a joke at his wife is expense, I don't think he was making the joke because of her the alopecia or whatever it is that she has is causing her to lose her hair, which would suck for anybody, especially a woman. But the the fact that I mean, hell, look at me, I my hair has been dipping off my forehead for a few years, so it is what it is. You, you know, that's life. But the reality is, do I think that he was doing that to purposely make fun of her condition? I think that the elephant in the room that's so obvious to most people, and even after it happened with Chris Rock, when Will Smith yelled at him, you could tell he wanted to say something that was biting, but it was probably along the lines of what's obvious to most of us, especially those that are familiar with 3% Man, is that Will Smith is a very effeminate guy. He's soft and he's weak. Now, I'm not talking about physically weak. I'm talking about emotionally and mentally weak. Because the reality is when you allow your teammate, your intimate partner, to habitually cheat on you and then you keep forgiving them and taking them back, you're enabling their behavior. You're telling them it's okay to punk you and to continue doing it. And that's obviously at this point, he's enabled her behavior by continuing to forgive her for it and allow it. To continue so from that perspective he's being a fucking bitch that's the harsh reality there's no way to sugarcoat it but the other thing is when you look at the joke when it's being delivered will smith is laughing everybody in the audience is laughing 
And the reason why we're all laughing at the joke at Jada Pinkett Smith's expense is because she's very masculine. She's a very masculine woman. And the reason she's so masculine is because Will is so soft. He's emotionally, he's mentally soft and weak, and he has no emotional self-control. That's the issue. She acts like the man in the relationship. And when you look at his body language and how he talks to her and about her, he's like a little boy seeking approval from his mommy. And quite frankly, it's disgusting and it's unmasculine and it's unattractive. And that's why she treats him like a doormat because deep down, she doesn't respect the guy. She just doesn't. If she respected him, she wouldn't be publicly fucking rappers and other people and rubbing it in his face, but he keeps taking her back thereby enabling her behavior and communicating that's okay. And that, I believe, the fact that Jada is so masculine and Will is so effeminate and so girly in his mannerisms is what Chris Rock really wanted to say. I could be wrong, but it's pretty obvious to most people that that's what's going on in their relationship. She wears the pants, she treats him like dirt, and he puts up with it. And anybody that wrote to me and had a similar situation. Oh, here's my wife has basically been caught in several public affairs. What would I be saying? I'd be going, she belongs to the streets. Jada Pinkett Smith, she belongs to the streets. She's a liar and she's a cheater. She's not a loyal and faithful woman. She doesn't honor her husband. She doesn't believe in commitment and loyalty and being faithful. She has a lack of integrity. Doesn't matter what you say or how you cover it up or you explain it away or problems in the marriage or whatever. Bottom line is, she said one thing, she did another. She's not to be trusted. She doesn't have integrity. The cheating is a symptom of a lack of integrity. That's just the way it is. And so back to what was happening as the joke is being told. Everybody's laughing. Will Smith is laughing. Everybody's laughing. And obviously, you can see the look on Jada Pinkett Smith's face. She wasn't laughing. She didn't think it was funny. And everybody's laughing. And then when the camera cuts back to Chris Rock, as everybody's laughing, the next thing you know, Will Smith is up on his feet, walking up the stage to go smack Chris Rock in the face. So I'd imagine, well, you, we don't see the camera angle because the camera had cut away. Will Smith probably looked over at his wife, saw that she wasn't happy with the joke, and what does he do? He goes into approval-seeking beta male. Ooh, let me get mommy's attention. Hopefully, I'll get an attaboy and I won't have to sleep on the couch again tonight and she'll let me sleep in the master bedroom and I'll get access to the box. Hopefully, she likes what I do because now I'm going to do something hopefully very manly. And he looks like an actor walking up on stage to make a big scene and he publicly assaults another man. Anywhere else in the country you do that, you go to jail for that. You can't just go up and smack another dude or assault another man. But it's L.A., it's the Oscars, it's Hollywood. You got George Gascon as the L.A. district attorney. He ain't going to do anything. So nothing's going to happen. And the other thing you got to consider, uh, and I think it was, what's her name, Kathy Griffin, uh, she's the one that basically did a public fake beheading of Trump who she's not want to talk, but now you've just put it into the consciousness that if somebody's up on stage making jokes about people in the audience, now it's acceptable for the audience to go up and smack or physically or publicly assault the comedians. And so now they have a real reason to fear for their safety. If they say something, they get upset because now Will Smith has just showed that it's okay to be an overly emotional, weak beta male and go assault people when your feelings get hurt. And that's not a good thing. So there's going to be consequences for this because that's now out in the culture. So you wonder what's going to happen next. But at the end of the day, Will Smith thought it was funny until he looked over at his wife and saw that she wasn't happy about it. And so he springs into action, trying to get her attention, hoping that she'll like him, hoping that she'll continue or that she will be faithful and loyal to him. And then the look on his face, the smug look on his face after he smacks her or smacks Chris Rock and then comes walking off the stage, he's hoping that mommy's going to give him an attaboy and be really happy with it. And then afterwards, he's bawling his eyes out. He's get, He won an award. And he's just acting. I mean, the dude has an emotional maturity of an eight-year-old little boy. I mean, seriously. He doesn't act like a man. Yeah, he might be a physically strong man. He's a lot bigger than Chris Rock was. 
But at the end of the day, if he'd have really slapped him hard, Chris Rock should have been on the ground because he's not a very big guy. But he didn't. So it looked like he caught his fingers across the bottom of his chin instead of a full facial slap. And that's what it looked like. That's why a lot of people were saying that it looked like it was fake. They were faking it. Or maybe it was a setup. Maybe it was. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I watched this whole thing. It was all funny until Will Smith looked over at his wife and she didn't look happy. And then he springs into action to get her attention and, and goes and physically assaults a man. And he should have been arrested and put in jail for it. You can't do that. That's assault. That's against the law. You're not allowed to do that. And so what it communicates to other people is that it's acceptable if you emotionally lose your shit to go up and physically assault somebody. So overall, what do I think? It's pretty obvious. Will Smith is an approval-seeking beta male. He's soft. He's mentally weak. He has no emotional self-control. And I'm not talking about physical. I'm sure the guy physically probably took a lot of boxing when he was learning the role for when he played Muhammad Ali. The dude probably can fight. But the way he acts, he acts like a total pussy. That's just the fact of the matter. And the fact his wife is extremely masculine. The reason she's in her masculine is because Will Smith is such a fucking pussy. He doesn't have the balls to stand up to her. That's just the harsh reality. That's what it is. And that's what I believe what Chris Rock was really alluding to when he made fun of her. I don't think he was making fun of her because of the alopecia thing. Because that was the first thing I heard of it was afterwards. And... That's what it looks like to me. Because it's pretty obvious to anybody, men that act like men, look at that behavior that he exhibits, especially being so publicly where she just totally treats a dude like dirt and cheats on him and he just keeps coming back for a second helping. And then he gets up and he goes, love makes you do crazy things. Like, no. He chose to exercise no much self-control because he is an approval-seeking beta male. So Will Smith, come on, man. Jesus Christ, dude. You need to grow the fuck up and be a man. If you were a real man, you would have left her fucking ass a long time ago and got you a real woman who's loyal and faithful, not some girl that'll cheat on you at drop a hat. But hey, you keep putting up with it. You keep enabling her behavior. And that's why nobody, at least real men, don't have any respect for you. Always remember, people, she belongs in the streets. And most importantly, no drama allowed. Your life should be a drama-free zone. I also have one of those mugs, too. Which you can get all these great mugs at spring.com, the Coach Corey Wayne store. So if you've got a question or a challenge and you'd like to get my help, go to understandrelationships.com, click the Products tab at the top of your screen, and book a coaching session with yours truly. And if somebody you know will, give them a copy of the book. It's like, tell them to quit being such a bitch. Seriously, you got to man up someday. And you're not going to get any respect when you allow somebody to treat you like a doormat. That's just the fact of the matter. I will talk to you soon.